M0FXB, welcome to my channel. We're looking at the antenna analyzer, which is the PS100, and it does 137.5 megahertz to 2.7 gigahertz. So it's not for HF bands, it's VHF, UHF, and smaller, I think. So when you first turn it on, this is what you see. Now, they do tell you straight away you should calibrate it. To, cali to calibrate it, you need a calibration kit, which is only about three pound. And it consists of these three things here. One is called open, one is called short, and one is called load. And to get this into calibration mode, now I've got an antenna on there which is showing my SWRs, not too bad. It's uh, my collinear in the loft, but it's my collinear in the loft has been up there many, many years and not ever been touched. So let's just take off my antenna here. So You'll see now the SWR has gone through the roof. So to get it into calibration mode, I'll just let you know to turn it on, you, you push the, this arrow here and OK. Arrow, OK, and it turns it on. There is a reset button underneath as well. And also it has USB-C charging and, and that other style there on the left. But it will charge USB-C, so it's a built-in battery. A nice, nice size screen, I think 2.4 inch, made of metal. It's good quality SMA antenna RF. <coughs> On the, on the top there. So to get it into calibration mode, you push this twice, the arrow, the left arrow twice, and then M, and it goes into calibration mode. All right, let's just do that again. Press and hold the M button, tap the left arrow two times. So M, my thumb is on the M, and then push that twice. Try again. Press and hold the left arrow and then push the M button twice. Right, that's it. We're in finally in calibration mode. So did you hear that? Press and hold the left arrow and then press the M button two times. Then click the arrow until you you highlight port select and click OK and it will it will start to go into calibration mode and start asking for these three items that we have here and this one is called the open you have to wait for it it does take a while open short and load load has got the like plastic bit see the plastic bit open it's all you can see that's like a hole there is what you would imagine open to be. And short has got the pointy bit. Okay, so it's now asked for the open, so we're gonna screw that onto the top. And then we'll click the left key. So that's on there now. And then we'll click the left key. And then you have to wait. It takes a minute or so. We've got the... Um, Yesu FT101 in the background, DX version. So look, it's still counting, 46%. So there is a wait. We're tuning some HF here as well. Let's see if we can find. What I do like about you know some of this this equipment that comes from AliExpress. It's always, you know, generally it's in a metal case. It's a nice solid, you know, it doesn't, it feels like it will last. And it's a very quick way, and it says here calibrating. It's a very quick way to test your, once you've calibrated it, then it's a very quick way to test your, your SWR if you're worried about your two meter, 70 centimeter antenna. Generally, I don't think I use other bands that it covers. Uh, let me think now, uh, probably 50 megs. Um, yeah, that's about it. Unfortunately, it doesn't do HF. Gets to the end, it says short call kit, click left key. So open, at the top it says open cal, okay. So it's done that one with the open. So we take off the open. Remember, it's the one with the circle. It's not got the little pointy bit. Screw on the one with the pointy bit, which is called the short. 
and this works the same with those smaller VNA antenna analyzers you can get for HF. So then we just go, we put it on, screw that one on, then we push the, it says a left key again, and it all starts again. Give that a minute. It gets to the end and it says short cow OK. So there you unscrew it and now we're going to add the load as it says. If you look just below it says there load cow. Screw that one on and then click left. Let that come to an end. Still got activity here on HF. Thank you very much for the contact and we see you good luck. Mike Zero, Fox X-Ray Bravo. Okay, and at the end of that, it just went back to this. Now we've got the, the load connected, so look what it is. It shows the SWR as being one. Now if I screw on there, just a rubber duck, which should be on its own, shouldn't be a great SWR. because It's designed to be connected to a radio. Look, 3.3, basically 3 SWR. If I just put in my, and my collinear, like so, from the loft, look straight away it's going down to quite a good SWR. Let's get that on there solid. Now these adapters, PL259 to SMA, they're not, they're not expensive. You can get them on Amazon and eBay, all that kind of stuff, or try your local ham radio shop. Now if we press the M button, you go to this screen and you can see the sort of sweep. And at the moment it's sweeping from 137.500 megs to 2.7 gig. But that's, you know, that's not really what you want. I noticed that also if you turn the top volume, it's, it, 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 look, it, show, it, it shows markers. So I bet you you can set those markers. But anyway, for now, let's learn how to put the start frequency here at the very bottom and the end. Because you want that. So we push, let's go memory. You've got the nice SWR there. Now I've already set this, but let's do it again. If we go right and left, see it highlights it in red. Then you push the top button and you can make changes by turning the top button, the top large knob. Then you can push across to the next, next. And when, you've, when you're okay with that, click okay. Then push the right arrow and do the same again. Push the top knob and then make your changes. You can go right and left and click OK. I've noticed that it, when it's red, you can actually go up to the top, I noticed. And it takes you here. I'm not sure if you can change those items, but they're, you know, they look like they could be changed. Oh, that's, and that actually says mark, doesn't it? But anyway, the thing we're interested in, I noticed you've got megahertz ohms there, is the bottom two. So we've gone from 144, 500, to 146530. So we're okay with that. And it's it's spanning across those bands. And what I like about this unit is it's got a built-in battery. I can take it out to my car. I can put the Maggie mount on the car. Uh, I can have antennas in my in my garden. I can go out and test them. Um, you should really, I suppose, bear in mind that the coax is going to make a difference to your set. And I have been watching TechMinds video on this as well, so thanks to TechMinds. And so there you are, check it out, I think it's worth the money, it's a good quality item, £80, maybe less if they do offers. You can check those antennas, 2 meters 70, uh, 50 megs, uh, 70 megs, all the, you know, uh, very quickly and very easy. And the calibration process, I found it, once you know what to do, it, it was very easy. So thanks for watching my channel, 7-3, catch you on air, all the best.